It's been almost two weeks since the federal budget came out on April 7th. There were a few things in it related to housing and the increase of housing supply and making housing more affordable. So let's look at what the federal government was proposing. Some of these may come to pass, some may not. But the main thing to remember, folks, this is your tax dollars. Uh, the federal government isn't giving anybody a gift here. It's your tax dollars that are going to pay for all of these proposals. Number one, there was a new housing accelerator fund. This was a fund that would have $4 billion in it that would be starting in 2022-2023. This money would be given to the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corp. The goal of which is to would of this fund would be to create 100,000 new housing units over the next five years. There was the proposal of the tax-free home savings account that would give prospective first-time home buyers the ability to save up to $40,000. And like an RSP, contributions would be tax deductible and withdrawals to purchase a first home, including the, any investment income on this money would be non-taxable like a TFSA. So tax-free in, tax-free out. There was the doubling of the first-time home buyer's tax credit uh, this would be up to $1,500 in direct support to first-time home buyers, and anybody purchasing after January 1st, 2022, would be eligible. There was the extension of the first-time home buyer's incentive uh, to run now till March 31st, 2025. The multi-generational home renovation tax credit. So for folks who did a home renovation, up to $50,000. Uh, in renovations, the first 15% of that would be a renovation tax credit, so $7,500, in order to put a secondary suite in for a, a senior or, or an adult with a disability. There was talk of the Home Buyer's Bill of Rights. $5 million would be put in to uh, work towards a framework for a Home Buyer's Bill of Rights, which would enshrine uh, to this point uh, something to do with being able to have a, a, a you know transparency also ensure that a home inspection was part of a purchase. We'll see what else comes out of all of that. There was the ban on foreign investment in Canadian housing. Government intends to propose restrictions that would prohibit foreign commercial enterprise and people who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents from acquiring non-recreational residential property in Canada for a period of two years. Making property flippers pay their fair shares was another proposal. Uh, this would ensure the profits from flipping properties are taxed fully and fairly. Specifically, any person who sells a property that they have held for less than 12 months would be considered to be flipping properties and would be subject to full taxation on their profits as business income. The, there would some be some exemptions though. So if you had to sell due to uh, life circumstances such as a death, disability, birth of a child or a new job or a divorce, you would be exempt. Taxing assignment sales. Uh, the proposal would make all assignment sales of newly constructed or substantially renovated residential housing taxable for GST effective May 7th, 2022. Again, a number of these items are proposals. We'll see what comes May of out of all of this. Some may, may come to fruition. Uh, it's anybody's guess what impact they will have on the housing market. In my humble opinion, I mean, the interest rates going up are going to have a more significant impact in slowing the market down. But we'll see if some of these other factors would come into play as well. If you need anything mortgage-wise, don't hesitate. Give us a shout at the Auxilium team. Auxilium simply means to care, aid, assist, and support. We do that here day in and day out, and we look forward to helping you.